This tutorial demonstrates how to build territories around points, from line features, from groups of area features, and by manually editing. There are many ways that you can create and modify territories in Maptitude. Areas of influence divide a map into territories based on the proximity of point features. For example, if you create areas of influence around the hospital features in this map, you will see the territories that are closest to each hospital feature. Anything in this area is closest to this hospital. These territories are based on straight line distances. For more accuracy, you can use the street layer to build territories based on drive time or distance by using the network partitioning option. First, make the street layer the working layer by choosing it from the drop-down list on the standard toolbar, and choose Tools, Routing, Network Partitioning. Choose the point layer and features to use. In this case, I'm using the landmark layer with the hospital selection set and choose whether to base the territories on driving distance or travel time. Then enter the maximum distance or time for the outermost limit of the territories. For example, I will set the maximum extent of the territories to be 30 minutes from a hospital. There are several output options. Choose Create Zones to create an area layer of the territories. You can also create a table that assigns each street segment to a territory and shows those assignments with a color theme. Notice those options are already chosen by default. Enter names for the new layer and or table here. It is faster to drive to this hospital from any of the green streets in this zone, even the ones here that are outside the area of influence we created earlier. Maptitude also includes tools so that you can build territories out of groups of areas such as postal codes, counties, or states. I'm going to create a new general purpose map of the United States. And open a spreadsheet I've already created with sales district assignments. You can see that my spreadsheet has the name of each county, what district number it's in, and who the sales rep is there. Now I can create territories by using the Create Districts command. Choose Tools, Geographic Analysis, Create Districts. Type a name for the new territory layer. Choose the field in your table that contains the source area names or codes. And click OK. Type a file name and click Save. Maptitude builds the territories and adds them to your map. You can also manually define your territories with selection sets. Again, I'm going to create a new map of the United States. First, I will click the Selection Settings button in the Selection Toolbar and add a set for each territory that I want to create. Now I'm going to choose the West set from the drop-down list here in the Selection Toolbar. Before working with the next set, click the Options button. To allow some areas to be in more than one territory, choose the Allow Sets to Overlap option. Otherwise, choose one of these options to prevent areas from being in more than one set. 
Now I can select the features in the remaining territories. Once the selection sets are ready for each territory, you can again choose Tools, Geographic Analysis, Create Districts. Type a name for the new territory layer that you're creating, and highlight the sets from which to build the territories. Maptitude builds the territory layer and adds it to the map. Click the green check symbols in the Display Manager to hide the original sets on the state layer. Finally, you can create territories manually with the geographic editing tools. Again, I'm going to create a new general purpose map, this time of Newton, Massachusetts. For example, you could create school districts for a city by drawing the boundaries manually. To get started, you may want to first export the city boundary to a new layer. First, select the city and then choose Tools Export. Caliper Compact Geographic Files are not editable, so you must export the layer to a standard geographic file. And I'll name the new layer School Districts. And check the Add Layer to Map box. You may want to modify the style of the new school district layer so that it stands out more on the map. I'm also going to clear the selection set on the place layer. Now make the school district layer the working layer and open the Geographic Editing Tools by clicking the Map Editing Toolbox button. Use the Add Boundary Edge tool to draw the district boundaries, and then click along the boundary you want to add. For example, I'll start here on the west side of town, and double-click to end it on the east side. Then click the green light button to save the edit. The school district layer is now divided into two districts. I'll divide it further by adding another line here Use this tool to join areas. Click on the areas you want to join and again click the green light tool. And use this tool to modify boundaries. Then click and drag any shape points. If necessary, you can also undo any of your edits with the Undo button. And that wraps up this tutorial on creating territories with areas of influence, network partition zones, tables, selection sets, and manually with the geographic editing tools.